So The Sun is the third play in a trilogy of plays that Florian Zeller wrote. He wrote The Mother, The Father, and this is the, the final one. And it's a story about a young boy, young teenage boy, whose parents are divorced and his dad has set up home with another woman and there's a young baby and he's living with his, um, the, the son is living with his mum and it's about him unravelling and about his life and their lives and how they interweave and it's, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a roller coaster. We're just in really safe hands with our team. Mike, the director, is just wonderful and knows so much about this world. Uh, Christopher Hampton and Florian Zeller were very much with us from the start and I think it for the full first week when we were at the kiln they were there every day for us to speak to and ask questions and um, also we had uh, adolescent mental health professionals and family mediators come in and speak to us and talk about their experiences with people like Nicholas and like our family. Um, so yeah, surrounding ourselves with, with experts in the field has been really helpful but also there is so much in the in the words in that what Florian has written he's so there and there's so much to read around but also he gives you so much. Mental health is we're just finally able to speak about it in a way that we haven't been able to for years and it's something that we've been affected by our whole lives in some way and so to finally see it on the stage in its sort of um, delicate way that it is in our lives is just sort of a relief for me anyway. Yeah, I had seen Florian Zeller's The Father at, um, at the kiln and it just broke my heart. It was something, it just, I had one of those experiences in the theatre where I, I was left in the middle of the row sobbing because it just connected emotionally with some big themes and I had this very profound experience in the theatre watching it and I didn't know Florian's work before that and it just made me go, this writer is amazing. And so when the chance came up to direct this, I was really excited and I, when I first read the script, it just, he writes both purely and right down the middle of a big family, relationship a complex messy loving family that are trying to trying to trying to find their way in the world um, well we're coming into the West End I mean it hasn't been that long since we did it at the kiln in Kilburn so we've had like a three three and a half month break and um, we're coming into it with renewed vigor there seems to be you know I think once you leave a play for a certain amount of time and then you you know, you, you, you resurrect it again. You find things that you didn't find before in the play. So it's got much more depth this time around, I think. It feels as though we've all definitely been able to take some time and let things kind of percolate a bit and kind of come back with a bit of a different understanding of it. Um, it's really exciting. And we've got, you know, four new members of a company of nine. So it's huge. It's really exciting to have like, that fresh energy back in the room as well. It just feels deeper and it's just the absolute pleasure of having done a show already and got it quite slick and clean and nuanced to then have months off and live your life and come back and it's just deeper inside you somehow. And we all have really good relationships as actors together anyway. And it just makes us quite sensitive to each other's changes of mood and stuff and it's just it just feels really real. We are in a drawing room there is a chaise long these are things that the West End is used to seeing but you know, we're a teenager we're with a teenager who feels so of now and um, you know an unconventional family structure that feels so of now that the these two elements together both go I know what this is and it feels and it feels fresh and contemporary.